Welcome back. All right, so as promised, we're going to discuss the two, count them, two trades made thus far today by the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, the Avs making a pretty major shift here, and it'll be interesting to see how this all pans out. I, I like the deals for Colorado, thus the Avalanche jersey. So Sean Walker is now a member of the Colorado Avalanche. This year for Philadelphia, 63 games, 6 goals, 16 assists, 22 points. He's been very effective. Uh, 29 years of age, he's an unrestricted free agent this summer. I, I think Avs fans will like him if he fits in as well in Colorado as he was in Philadelphia. I think he's going to be a popular player. Going the other way, Ryan Johansson, who may never play a game for Philadelphia. Uh, he's been placed on waivers. Yeah, they've waived him already. Uh, 63 games, 13 goals, 10 assists, 23 points for Johansson. It has not been a secret that the Avs have not been happy with the production from Johansson. Uh, he has a $4 million cap hit until next year. And uh, I'm, I'm sure Preds fans watching this are going to say, well, yeah, we tried to say that when he went to Colorado. So Johansson goes in that trade. And just seeing that on its own, I thought Colorado has to have something else going on. They're not just going to trade away a forward or bring in a defenseman, right? Yeah, they, they, they actually made a pretty major deal as well with Buffalo. And the Bowen Byram has gone to Buffalo. I'm surprised by this because I still think Byram has a ton of potential. I think that this year's been a down year for him. 55 games, 8 goals, 12 assists, 20 points. Lately, he's been better. Uh, his stats were trending in the right direction over the last month. So I think Buffalo did all right here. Uh, number four pick in 2019. Now you've got Power, you've got Darlene, and you've got Byram. Byram's cap hits $3.85 million. He's a restricted free agent next year. So they have another year of that certainty that he makes $3.85 million. It's not too bad. Now, going to Colorado, Casey Middlestad. Middlestad's in the midst of another very good season. Last year and this year, he's really taken that next step. He's 25 years of age, 62 games, 14 goals, 33 assists, 47 points. I would expect those points totals to go up in Colorado, mildly. Um, he was a number eight pick in 2017. He was written off as a bust a few years ago but by some, but he has really developed. He has been one of Buffalo's best forwards. He's a restricted free agent this summer, so we'll see how long it takes for the Abs to work out an extension with him. Uh, but I, I do think Middlestad is a pretty solid addition up front. And so trading out Johansson and trading in Middlestad, trading out Byram, trading in Sean Walker, you're getting a little bit more of a veteran on the blue line, a different look than you're going to get with Byram. And with Middlestad, you're getting a younger forward who's scoring more already than Johansson was this season. And I think definitely has more upside at this point in his career than Johansson. I don't think anybody's going to argue the other direction on that. Uh, so yeah, these are a couple of smart moves made by the Avs. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe in the event you have not done so already. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll see if there's any trades left to be made on Friday or if they just close up shop and say, forget it, everybody's already traded. Uh, lots of rumors of other guys on the move, so this is probably not my last trade video for today. So stay tuned, and I will talk to you again soon enough.